Um, I feel great. And uh, like I said, like, like I always say, uh, every fight is, is a big fight for me. You know, I train hard for every fight. I mean, I train hard basically like, I like guess a world title every, every time I go out. How about the opponent? How about Delorme? He's been in there with some some tough foes. We know you're going in there to knock, you know, his head off. What what yeah. challenge does he pose to you as an opponent? Uh, I'm not sure. You know, uh, we'll see on fight night, but uh, I'm on a whole different level right now. You go in there, 27 wins, 25 knockouts. Is there any doubt in your mind that you you finish this guy? You you never go to the decision. I mean, it's no doubt, but, uh, you know, we stick to the game plan. We we don't look for the knockout. You got to let it come naturally. And as long as I stick to the game plan, you know, be relaxed and let the knock, uh, knockout come, yeah. it's going to come. And That's the it. knockouts do normally come, but there are a lot of degenerate gamblers out there. So if you had to tell them, you know, make a little a guess of where you might finish this fight, any sort of prediction for them? Uh, <laughs> no, no, predict, no prediction. <laughs> Just don't blink. <laughs> We know you don't, you know, want to look past him. He's a formidable opponent, but you're in a division with, you know, some of the biggest guys in the sport. Is that the goal real quickly, you know, after this fight? How, how soon until you're in there with the likes of Errol and Terrence and those type of opponents? Um, I, I feel like uh, not looking past, you know, Tommy Lemire uh, on October 30th, but I feel like uh, 2022 is the year that, you know, I, that I grab one of those belts and, you know, keep collecting and just keep collecting and being undisputed. So I feel like 2022 is a year, uh, it's like it's the start for me, basically. How do you feel you match up against those guys? They're two of the best pound for pound fighters in the sport. Uh, I feel like my style is different from both of those guys. And I feel like I'm just a whole different animal. When you're young and hungry, that's dangerous. And, and, when, and when you you uh, you love what you're doing, it's hard to be somebody like that. Like this, this right here is fun for me. So I feel like I'm going there and be dominant against both. A couple weeks out, Boots. What's your what's your message to Delorme before you guys get in there on October 30th? Uh, my, my message is, is stay uh stay on point, stay alert because I'm coming.